Hey guys, I've got another designy DIY homeware video for you today. I'm going to be showing you how to make these 3D geometric hexagon coasters. I've done mine in copper and white because who doesn't love a bit of copper homeware, but you can do them in whatever colour you like to match your room and your decor. This was a really easy DIY to make, in fact I literally just made these this morning. So if you want to know how to make these for yourself, here are the instructions. I picked up a pack of round cork coasters from Ikea for this DIY and they only cost a pound so very good value and I'm not going to try to pronounce the name but it is linked down below if you want. To do the design on them you'll need some Mod Podge glue, some fine glitter, some white paint and a paintbrush. I got all of the stuff off Amazon so it'll be linked down below. You also need a pencil and a ruler, some masking tape, a craft knife and a cutting mat. To make the hexagon shape, draw a line down the middle of the coaster and then a dotted line crossing through that for alignment. Now you could use a protractor to measure out the correct angles for the shape, but I used the guidelines on my cutting mat instead, drawing a line at 30 degrees and another at 60 degrees. Then just join up the points, ignoring the dotted line to get your shape. Cut the edges off with a sharp craft knife and you've got yourself a hexagon. Next take some masking tape and mask off one side of the shape completely. Spin it around and mask it in half again and you'll end up with the shape that you need to get that cool 3D effect. At first I tried to spray paint these, but my copper spray paint did not like the cork so it went silver instead. So plan B, I took my glue and painted over the spray paint and then coated it in glitter. Just a wee tip here, a smart thing to do to not waste the excess glitter is to glue up the next coaster and then shake the excess from the first one onto it. Maybe you'll have to top it up a little bit, but it's definitely a good way to use up that excess glitter you'd be shaking off anyway. Let the glue get a bit tacky and then peel off the masking tape before it dries completely. You should be left with nice sharp lines and a section of copper glitter that looks like this. To seal the glitter, paint over it again with another layer of Mod Podge glue. Don't worry, it dries clear, but this will just hold it in place much better than if you just left it. When that's dried a bit, stick some tape on to mask out the next section. This one I just filled in with white paint and grabbed a smaller brush to get the edges as neat as possible. Again, leave these to dry for a bit and then take the tape off before it dries completely. Some paint snuck under the edges of mine a little bit, so I just tidied that up by wiping it off with a craft knife. Once they're all dry, your coasters are done. I really love the way these turned out. They look great sitting on the table and I think they kind of look like something you'd buy in Oliver Bonus or Urban Outfitters or something, but these ones were so cheap to make, which is awesome. So despite their initial spray paint fail, I think that these coasters turned out to be a success. I really like how they look like 3D cube drawings, do you see what I mean? And I like the interesting mix of materials with the cork and the glitter and the paint. I think they turned out really cool. If you enjoyed this DIY, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you've clicked the subscribe button down below. That way my new videos will show up every week in your subscription feed. If you try out this DIY, I definitely want to see pictures, especially of the different colour schemes that you try for it. And definitely do give it a go because like I said, it was really, really easy to make. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you next Saturday for a design video. Bye.